Hello everyone, how are you all doing? It is me, Angela, and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I was watching a few videos by Cindy, Cindy Ruff, from Create Altered, My Altered Muse, sorry Cindy, um, and thoroughly enjoying her pretty um, uh, shabby chic soft colours that I love so much as well and I encourage you to go and have a look at Cindy's channel The Altered Muse um, she is the first member of my design team I have another lovely lady Cheryl Talifus who's also and uh, now come on board and going to be a member of my design team so a very warm welcome to both of you Cheryl's channel is called The Journal Cottage and I'll put the links in the description box below um, for this of this video all right so today inspired by shabby and pastels and all things pretty i decided to work on a project um with glassine bags so i have a couple of these that were gifted to me long ago um because we don't really get these here in the uk but i do love using them and i love the sound so you can't go wrong with those however if you don't have a glassine bag um it, that doesn't matter you can use anything you want to make your own it's not hard uh, at all you know you can either use an old mailer and decorate that by just chopping off the top and making it into a pocket or you could use um, vellum tracing paper or just plain paper even tea stain paper you can make your own little bag with all right but i've got these so if you have these um come and follow along irrespective of whether you have them or not and we can have some fun with this today so you're going to need two um bags i'll just give you an idea of the kind of size i'm working on this is four and a half inches by seven inches all right so that's going to be able to fit onto one of my journal pages so that's the most important bit if you've got a mailer go and chop it off so that you can use it as a pocket because really we're going to use these as pockets as i say so you want to grab yourself i'm doing two so we've got that i've got uh, two little bits of ephemera from my um spring splendor ephemera kit so i've got the daisy image and this lovely collection of beautiful pink and yellow flowers so i'm going to use those too i have gathered a couple of bits of fabric some scrappy bits um i'm also going to use some strips of this a uh, lovely one these came from my spring splendor fabric bundle and i love the colors and then i've got a bit of the green one as well so anything along those lines um, i'm going to use these and then um, i pulled off a piece of this uh, i won't say fabric textile let's go with that um, i call it cheesecloth or muslin it's this very fine it looks like this um, I bought, I dyed mine in tea, so that's why it is normally white. It's often what you use to strain things if you're making cheese or, you know, often in a lot of recipes, you ask to strain things and you put it into this sort of thing and then drain it over a container. So that's what this is. So whatever you might call it, muslin, cheesecloth, it's very loosely woven all right so there you go i bought a whole lot of this um i think from a medical supply and then i just tea stained it but you can make it different colors like i've seen beautiful pink and blues um but not where i am but you could do it yourself with food color you know so um go and grab yourself some of that really cheap so i'm going to use i've just cut two bits off here and these bits of fabric as I said and then I've got a little container here I'm going to use this sort of stuff so I've got some applique bits um, I've got a couple of buttons I've got two pieces of lace and some of the little flowers from my kit and then some die cuts that I'm going to use all right so that's what we're going to use you want your usual tools I've managed to sort of sort my board out a little bit here. I've got a horrible stain here, which I can't get off, but too bad. We crafters, so that's just how it is, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to try and do these. Let's do them one by one. Don't get over ambitious, Angela. <laughs> and I'm going to start with, should we go with pink first? Of course, I'm a pink girl. Right, I had these little strips left over from... Uh, the fabric and that's fine because I'm going to sort of lap them over slightly and I'm going to put them on the top there like that 
So I was just pulling off a couple of threads to give it a little bit of a ruffled edge rather than just nothing, but you know, just to shabby it up a bit. So I haven't done much, but you can see there's sort of a, a, a ruffled edge there a little bit. And I'm gonna stick those down pretty much close to the top like that. Okay, so you can see I'm covering about four inches of the width and about five inches in the length, more or less. I'm just taking my fabric tack and I'm gonna stick these down. I'm gonna stick the glue straight onto the bag, probably easier. Right, so what have you been doing? Have you all been following along to lots of videos and things? Are the weather's looking grand and my tree's full of lovely um, russet colour leaves, which is great, and it's getting little yellow flowers, so I'm very happy to say that uh, it's definitely spring, although it took its time, it's definitely here now, so I'm happy about that. I think the weather does affect our mood in some way, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to just stick this down there a little bit. I think I'd need probably a little bit more. Yeah, I was looking forward to this today. And it's always good to sit at my desk and be able to do some crafting. I do love that. Right, I did manage to get those bundles sorted, which I'll share with you a little later in the video. Um, I've got my photographs done, which... Um, <laughs> Oh, I was humming and hawing about all sorts, but I'm trying to uh, make small bundles that appeal to all of you and are cost effective. So, yeah, let's chat about that a little later. So look out for that in the website shop. So that's always good. I want to stick that down. That's great. Yeah, so we've got that down. Now you're not going to see this because we are going to stick our picture over the top of this. So we are going to do that, but I think I want to just grab a piece of this. I want to just sort of tease it out a little bit so you can make it as open textured as you like. Um, and I want to just sort of place it a little bit. doesn't matter if it goes over the side. I quite fancy that. I want to just get that stuck on there. So, yeah, just getting a little bit of texture as we go. So a lot of fabric tech to be used today. <laughs> and trying to turn my little scrappy bits into something pretty, which I love doing. I love it. I pack my um, Book Lovers Bliss things away. So I've got more space. I'm feeling good today. Got a lot done, <laughs> which is always a plus. Right, we're just going to manipulate that over where we are. Let's pull the side a little bit further down. Yeah. Got this one string that's gonna be cut off because I don't want like this random one sticking out here. Okay, so we've got that, so it's coming together. Oh, that's what I don't have out my ink. Well, it's the scissors and the two pairs of scissors. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a distress ink and this one while I'm at it. There's some children on the swing with their mum. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, children are always uh, very into their parents from about 5 to 11. And after that, it's all pear-shaped, isn't it? <laughs> no, they're all right. Okay, so we've got that. That we're going to use for the other one. I think I'm going to use this one over here. Right, what else do I want to put on here? I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to get this stuck on quickly. So we want to get that stuck down. I'm going to keep it quite high-ish, I think. Quite up there. There we go. Right. And um, I'm going to get a few bits on here. So I wanted some lace. But I'm going to take this pinky bit, which is really a strip from the length that I had. And again, um, I'm going to use the glue. Now, you can sew this, but I want to get it a little bit more uneven. So I'm going to glue this and I'm going to glue this, I think, 
about over here and then I think I'll put that just over the top something like that yeah okay so let's let's decide we're going to get this at the bottom so I want to use my my glue just going to get some glue onto this here which is awkward with this muslin is a little bit awkward that's okay we'll, we will overcome now I like to tuck the end in but this, there's no need really but I do it so I'm going to just stick and press and stick <laughs> as you do right so we're just going to get this and sort of pleat it with my fingers as I do it so a great way to do this if you don't have a sewing machine, um, you know, um, and I particularly, I mean, you can do it a lot neater, but I'm going for an uneven pleat here. So I'm not wanting to get it even. So just like random. Yeah, I'm going to get it like that. So we want a little bit over there. Let's pull that one out a bit, I think. And then a little bit over here in the end. Gosh, just made it really. I've made it fit. Okay. So there's the first little one. Um, now I uh, wanted to stick this down. I might just stick it above there. I might. I want to just grab some other goodies before I commit to that. Um, I thought on this one I'll, I'll use the whiter one. And I wanted to get that on here as well. Yeah. So I wanted to keep that fairly low, really, so that some of this is sticking out. So I don't want to cover the picture too much. So that's like its frame. And we want a little bit of this. I think that's better. Yeah. So let's move this up a little bit. Just a little bit like that like that okay getting there i'm getting there right before i stick these down i've got my little die cuts so pink yellow and green pink yellow and green so let's grab pink yellow and green so i've got these and i'm going to go a little bit off the page i like that off the page feels like a rebel <laughs> When I do that, thinking of teachers and, you know, I can say that I was a teacher. So it's all right. All right I'm going to sort of go something like that. Right, let's get that down. Let's get the art glitter glue out. So we'll do that. And then we'll take this little yellow one and just line it up with the little pink one. So I can just see exactly how I want it. Okay, so that one needs to go about there. Yeah, what have you guys all been up to? Um, been uh, working a lot on a new kit, so I'm excited to tell you. Um, so that's coming along nicely. I hope that you're going to love that. I always wonder, you know, and I never know until the day what anyone thinks because nobody really shows any <laughs> interest in my house. But um, yeah, looking forward to doing that and um, looking forward to better weather. I need to really sort out my garden. Um, uh, the grass is growing so fast now with all the rain that we've had. And I really want to make it a really pretty place to just go and relax. And because I am such a lover of nature, I just want a place like a... My own little secret garden, really. That's what I want. So I think I'm going to have to get the efforts of the family to help me out with that one and put in some manual labour. You know, I'm too old to go and uh, dig trenches and all sorts of <laughs> heavy labour things. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do something there. I don't have a big garden. I have a small garden. But I just want it to be a tranquil, restful place, really. You know, especially with the nicer weather coming. Right, so we've got that bit there. And um, 
I want to stick this down as I say and then this we're going to stick over there as well it's looking really pretty so far okay should we get those down so back to the fabric glue so I'm going to put this onto the the, the lace directly Oh, Abby and I have had some wonderful walks. Abby's tucked up in her bed there. I've tucked her little pink blanket um, that Helen sent her a while back now. But Helen, she does love that blanket. And um, she tucked, likes me to tuck her up so that she can have a little afternoon siesta. She does like her sleeps. And that's what she's doing. So there's no squeaky toys going on today. <laughs> she's doing so much better. And, um, yeah, there's just my, f what is it? She can't jump up onto the, my bed, um, which is probably a blessing, but she does sleep in her little bed on my bed, but it's too high for her. So I have to lift her up. Normally she would just jump onto my bed and then get on there, but she can't anymore. So that's all right. She seems to be running up the stairs and everything else. So. On, on all those fronts you know she's doing really well so I'm very happy about that okay we've got that little bit there gosh that just looks so cute right we're coming along nicely now I've got a few flowers um, and I wanted to stick some buttons on here as well so I think I'm gonna start with a couple of flowers at the top here I've got these little pink ones that I had from the lace bundle and my I have to use these scissors now the others on the floor um I do love using these and I have put these little flowers into um the the little bundles that I've put together now just you know on on sale so you'll see those I find them really useful so yeah on the bundle side um, not everything will necessarily match but I've tried my best to match everything in colors so you've got like um, book lovers bliss sort of colors the purples the mauves the pinks and then you've got um, the pastels are separate as well that looks so cute doesn't it have I got another pink one? Oh, I do okay I want to just try and get this chopped in half and then I wanted to see if I wanted to stick one just over here I think I'm going to do that just sort of brings a little pop of color there so we'll do that okay and what else did I want to do here I wanted to stick some buttons on so how lovely is this coming together really pretty now normally when i make this i would um sew that but we're not sewing um today we're just using buttons i've have stitched in the buttons because i don't like buttons being unstitched i don't know why but i don't i prefer it looking like they are they have been already stitched right that one just needs a bit of a trim and then we're going to just I wanted to just get three and I think I'm going to do it this side one two and one more yeah let's get them down all right so this is like a, a really scrappy shabby that's the word shabby project today and nothing wrong with um with that I like that Right, so we can make and put in a lovely postcard or something really pretty in there. Okay, that, I think that's one done. How sweet is that? Yeah? yeah? I love the sound. All right, so there's one over there. Let's put that to the side. And then very quickly, now that I have this sort of idea of what I want to do, I'm going to do this one with a green. So this one we're going to stick up at the top so let's get that bit down really quickly so again i'm going to put it straight onto this bag and as i said use an envelope mailer you know whatever you have make your own bag just from tea stain paper or a sheet of white paper or greaseproof any of that it's going to work like a bomb 
no problem at all right we want to get that up there so let's get that stuff down okay and then of course i wanted this scrappy bit of stuff which is just peeking through here and there and really looks lovely so i'm going to just get this pulled out nicely and we will just pull it how you want it you know it, it's so stretchy so well not stretchy but it's because it's such a loose weave it's easily maneuverable so we want to get that over here so let's get that down this is really easy to do isn't it if you've got a sort of plan of what you want you can do it and it's going to look lovely there we go a little bit just up here i think there we go right and then i'm going to get this stuck down so this is the daisy one love daisies like that and then again we will let's put on our fabric so i'm going to go with the yellow and bring out the yellow here so i've got a yellow strip and again just put on some glue here directly yeah i just like to tuck that over um there we go and then we want to just keep going with a bit of glue as we go so yeah quite messy on the hands but rewarding in the end <laughs> so yeah i do like this kind of thing although it does feel messy and i didn't used to like having mess but you know, when I was younger, I definitely didn't like my hands to get dirty. I don't know why, but I didn't. Um, but there's a therapy for that these days. <laughs> my daughter was a bit like, well, very much like that um, when she was younger. She wouldn't feed herself because she didn't want her hands dirty. And I thought to myself, where does that come from? But she was going above and beyond. And, um, yeah, she wouldn't touch anything except water. And so I had to take her for therapy. Um, so they gave her, like, very big noodles first, like those really massive ones. And then they worked it down, eventually got to sand and all sorts of funny play therapy, they call it. Have you ever? But it's a thing. Yeah, so she does have issues. <laughs> well, she did. <laughs> In my day, we didn't really get all that sort of support, did we? I mean, they just used to leave you and you get on with it and finish. But, yeah, it's a very real thing. And that sort of manifested itself in all sorts of funny ways. She didn't like her hair brushed. And, oh, that was a crying session every day. She had a super sensitive scalp and teeth and just didn't want seams of the socks and things and labels i'd have to cut a label out in the middle of the shop she'd have an absolute meltdown if i didn't i used to have to keep scissors in my handbag it was i'm laughing at it now but it wasn't funny at the time i didn't know what was going on as you don't but yeah things you do there we go, got the buttons on already, going like a bowing. Right, this one I've found, I've got this piece of lace left over. This was in my pouch bundle, so I don't suppose that you guys necessarily have this. I wonder if I can get that over there. I think that will look really nice, so I'm going to stick that down. Messy fun. Let's put this down. Right, so that's going to go just there. There we go. Okay. Is that straight? Yeah, I think I will have to um I'm going to put on my little die cuts. So I've got three die cuts here as well. I've got a lighter green, a darker green, sorry and a lemon so i'm going to again start with this one which is going to be the the backbone of the design i think i'm thinking of my floral art days at college 
you know i did a few courses at college and floral floral art was one of them and i i was only young and i i don't know why i decided to do floral art but i quite enjoyed it <laughs> yeah i i don't i don't think recall using it much in my life but um it was fun there were some random things when i was growing up weren't there but yeah that was one of them i don't think i've seen a floral art course in my adult latter years but in my salad days they were so it just shows you salad days i remember learning that in the uh, romeo and juliet i think when i was in school oh that's what it is i meant to put it underneath here I'm just having a look across the way there, so we'll just need to pull that up a bit and uh, stick that down. That's all right. I can stick that easily enough and then we'll get the yellow one as well. OK, so we've got that done and now we just want to stick this down over here again. Okay, that's better. Right, and um, then for this one, I have this lovely piece that also was gifted to me a while back. For the life of me, I've forgotten who. But thank you. I do love this. Um, I, it's a piece of applique um, trim that I've just cut out, and I just like the alternate colour coming in here. So I'm going to stick that on that side with my um, Fabri-Tac, which has now got all gloopy on the end. That's all right. Now, I uh, had a few little bits to stick on here. So I'm going to go with the cream little flowers and one of the little yellow daisies as we're dealing with daisies. I just want to trim that little bit off there. On there. And I'm going to stick that down. Up there. And then we can just stick these either side. Are we looking straight? Sort of. Right. It's, everything suddenly is looking skewed. Right. What have I not done? I think with this one, I just wanted to put one of those in the middle there. And then that would finish that off. Let's just put some right there like that. Oh, perfect spot for it to fall. And there we go. There we've got our two little pockets. Right, so I'm going to grab my signatures and I'll okie dokie. So I'm back and uh, in the signature here, so the one that we, we started with all of those. <laughs> Um, after the middle bit, you've got this page, and I thought on this avocado page that I've got here, I would stick on the green one. So I'm going to just take this section out here. So I'm going to just move that up a little bit, take that out. So it's on, you've got your belly band there, and on this side is where we're going to put this. So I thought I would put, um, the green one, did I say? Yeah, uh, the pink one, sorry. Losing the plot. So we're going to put the pink one on there, just like that. So I'm going to just take my... A perfect fit, isn't it? Right. So I'm going to put my hand in here. And we're just going to get the glue on here. Uh, using the fabric tag, just so that I can get all the bits down. And it gives me a little bit of time uh, just to manoeuvre it in place. Because with my art glitter glue, as you guys know, if you use it, you've got about one second to make a decision. <laughs> with this, i got about five seconds. So it makes all the difference when you are lining things up. But you can't fault art glitter glue for um, the fine nib for specific delicate work like you know, sticking down die cuts and that. I do like it for that. Right. 
we have now got this. I'm going to grip it carefully and I'm going to keep it down because I'm going to put a little card in. So, uh, right, that's it. Let's press it down gently. And this is why I like to take the pages out when I'm crafting so I can get things nice and flat and straight. Right, so we've got that there. Now for this one, um, I grabbed these two cards out of my ephemera pack. Um, they all come from the Spring Splendor ephemera kit. Or ephemera kit. Um, I've got this lovely daffodils one and I'm going to put this in the green and yellow. And then this cute little bunnies. Hi Terry, this one's for you. Um, just got those with two little pink and yellow ribbons to pick up the colours and I'm going to slide that in, in over there. So that's what I'm going to put in that one. Move that over a little bit. Right, so that's going to go in there. So pick that up, uh, wrap it around there again and it's back in the book in the signature and that's its new home. How lovely is that? I really like that. Okay, so that's the one. I've got the second signature here and just after the middle you've got your lace green page and then I've got one of these so I want to stick it on this page here so again I'm going to just take that out it's on the back of this one so over here I'm going to stick the green one so yeah beautiful and get it stuck down so yeah I quite like this you know sticking it down it is messy but it's worthwhile a little bit more glue just under there there we go right that's all good good to go and then as I said I'm going to put the beautiful daffodil postcard in there like that And there we have it. So we've got that one. Oh, let's just, that goes like that. Back in there. And that, those are the little projects for today. And how sweet is that? Hi everyone, that's our little project for today. Go and grab your bits and pieces and come and make a altered bag. So it was fun to make. Um, in teenage speak, they would say the bags had a glow up. That's what it is. All right. So uh, there we go. I've had fun with that and I think it looks really pretty. Um, and yeah, I'm sure to see you again on Friday with another little project. So come and follow along. Don't forget about the bundles in the shop. They're one off. So um, you'll have different options. Go and have a look at them. Um, and if, if you're keen, they're on my website shop. All right, stay well, and I'll see you on Friday, everyone. Bye-bye.